Hello everyone. It is a time for class again. This is a ECE three seventeen digital signal processing. Uh, welcome. Last time we have discussed some signals. Right. We have discussed some real signals, then some complex signals, and today we keep working on the signals. ECE three seventeen. Uh, this like uh, this video is for the second week Wednesday's class. Right, second week we do not have Monday. Monday is a holiday. Okay. Uh, for signals, so today we will consider try to write a signal in terms. Or some um, some simple part, simple part. The idea is just like this. Uh, actually, we were we were talking about the Fourier transform. All right. Uh, for this kind of things, the okay. I give some different method here. Method one, we use Taylor Taylor formula. Taylor expansion. Remember, in calculus, we have any signal f of t. We will write it as summation of some uh, polynomial terms, like a zero plus a one t plus a two t square plus so on. Each term is uh, a k times t to the k. And like it is, and uh, what are these a each a k? It is a uh, f to the uh, k fact uh, k k times of derivative over k factorial, like this, right? K run from zero, one, two until infinity. We have this one. So here, actually, here uh, this formula is given by Taylor, right? This formula is given by Taylor. Uh, here you, you can think of this one t t square t cube and so on. All of these, they are some uh, some basic pieces, basic uh, components. Right, basic components. You you combine them together, you can have f of t. Each component you need a different weight. They are the weight, right? You can think that they are the weight. You merge, you 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 mixture some piece, some different components with different weight, then you can make different uh, uh, product product different uh, different stuff, right? Okay, so this is Taylor way. And uh, measure measure one, measure two. This is Fourier's way. Fourier's form. Uh, actually, we have several cases. The first case is a continuous times case. Right. Continuous time signal. Uh, you have a f of t, you will write it as a integral. Uh, in front of it, we need a need a constant. It's a negative infinite to positive infinite. Here's a capital F of uh, j omega. We use this notation. Actually, this is a function of capital omega times e to the j omega t d omega. We have this one. We have this one, and uh, here f j omega. It is integral of f of t e to the negative j omega t d t. All right, we have this one. Actually, this is coming from Fourier. 
we call these as 40 a transform. Right, 40 transform. And uh, this is for continuous time signal. So this is a CTFT. CTFT. And this one, this formula is a inverse of CTFT. Okay, inverse of CTFT. And uh, for for this summation here, you combine all these together, you have signal, right? Then each one, this e to the j omega t, all of these, they are the basic components. And this capital F j omega, they are the weights. And uh, we call these as a spectrum. Spectrum. Right. We call this a spectrum. F of J omega, capital F of J omega is a is a spectrum. Spectrum. All right. So this is a continuous case. Uh, by this way, what is the benefit of this way? Actually, what is the e to the J omega? By Euler formula, this is a cosine or J omega t. So t, cosine capital omega t plus j times the sine of j uh, of omega t. So this is sinusoid, right? It's a combine of cosine and the sine. Cosine and the sine. Uh, actually for the Fourier formula we have different version. Here is not e to the j omega t. Here is just some cosine and the sine. Yeah some different kind of formula. Uh, but this formula looks more shorter, right? You know, it's a short, it's easy to handle so uh, we just use this one is enough for us. All right. Each component, now each basic component, actually it is a sinusoid. It's cosine plus sine. Uh, both sides is the same waveform, just uh, they have different, uh, they start at different point, the phase angle different, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is a combined any signal in terms of sinusoid with different weight. And how to determine the weight? We use this formula. This formula is given by for, by Fourier. All right. So this is a continuous times case. Then we consider in our course we need a discrete time, right? So this is a case B. This is a discrete time. Signal. We consider a discrete time signal. Now is the x of okay x of n. The time is uh, is n. That means n must be integers. Integers. It will be one over two pi. Here is a summation. Now it is not integral. It is summation. This here is integral for continuous time cases. Integral. Now it's a summation. Summation of oh sorry, it's still integral. Uh, it's microphone. Still integral, but uh, run from negative pi to positive pi. Then here's uh, some capital X of we use the notation e to the j omega. Then here's e to the j omega t and the d omega. Okay, yeah, that's it. So we can write any signal x of n in terms of component or components. There's a t. T is the continue. Not it's a discrete time. Sorry, right. it's a n. All right, n discrete time. Discrete time. So x of n is combined of this one. So here, e to the j omega n, and n run from zero positive negative one positive negative two and so on. All of these, they are the basic components. And the capital X of e to the j omega, this one, they are the weights. Actually, we still use the name spectrum. 
the weight is just uh, is my word, you know. Yeah, it's, 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 I think this we use this way is is easy to understand what is the meaning of it. The things like you want to make something, right? Different components with different weight, and then put them together, you have the final result. Okay. And how to get this X, capital X? How to get the weight? This capital X e to the j omega were equal to a similar way this but now it's not integral now it's a summation yeah now it's a summation it is summation uh, with some n run from negative to possibly infinite here's x of n times e to the negative j omega n all right and uh, this is a d t f t and this formula is d t f t inverse okay d t f t d t f t inverse so this is a discrete time for discrete time signal we can write it in terms of some simple components with certain weight combine them together we have this thing and uh, how to get this weight we use DTFT. We use DTFT. All right. This is second case. Here's just a definition. Uh, actually, we have more details about the DTFT later. Uh, in later classes, we will discuss more. Today, I just want to show you the third case. See, DTFT. Working okay, computer. working computer how to do it uh, in a computer we know you can only have finite calculations right like here you need the infinite summation to get this capital X and here in this formula you need an integral then nah, how to work on it so we have to work like in this way X of n still X of n but n we just to think of the case consider the case n run from 0 to some less than n we need the n numbers right 0 to n 0 then 1 2 3 4 5, uh, minus 1 okay and minus 1 is equal this is x of n we will not use all of the n like here for for dtft here we need uh, n run from negative infinity to positive infinity right, we have this so all the n's now we already have finite so the computer can handle it right? you have infinite no computer can do that and here's a summation uh, here's an integral integral we know it is a limit of summation limit of summation uh, for computer we just consider it is summation so we do some summation of these terms okay let me write This integral run from negative pi to pi, or zero to two pi. This is for omega. Right? This is for omega. Uh, this should be same, you know, because this one, it is a combine of these, and we know this is sine and the cosine. Right? This is sine and the cosine. Sine and the cosine. So when you have two pi. That is one cycle. You have more, you will go back. You will repeat. Repeat that. That's right here. E uh, cosine omega n equal to cosine omega plus 2 pi times n. These two are same. Right? The phase. Phase different. 2 pi n. Yeah, this is omega n. This is omega n plus two pi n, right? Two pi n. So for cosine, if you change omega to be omega plus two pi, you get same thing. And for sine is same. For sine, you use omega uh, plus two pi for omega, you get same thing. Then as a combine, the e of j omega n, e of j omega t. This is combined of sine and cosine. So, e to the 
e to the j omega n and e to the j omega plus 2 pi n they are same they are same so when omega run from negative pi to pi or 0 to 2 pi you get same thing 0 to pi from 0 to 2, to pi this part they are same and the pi to 2 pi actually this is 0 This piece is same as this piece. When omega locate in zero, uh, pi to two pi, you just mind, uh, minus two pi. You go back to here, right? You go back to this. So they, this part and this part are the same thing. Okay, so we just need a one cycle because when the, you add two pi, you will are, you are repeat the previous result. So you only need one cycle is enough. So we use negative pi to pi or zero to two pi. Uh, I will show you how to work use uh, MATLAB right? in, in computer you need some program language I use MATLAB in MATLAB uh, they use 0 to 2 pi as a basic basic uh, frequency interval so here I also use this from 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi and 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi we separate it and divide it to n pieces. N pieces. So we like this, right? N pieces. So each piece there will be two pi over n, right? Two pi over n. Two pi over n. And we take the left point as a to, to represent the whole interval right? so we have this 2 pi over n from here to here and then the integral now we use a summation of the value of these on this this point so this is a, a 1 over n times a summation each pot each component now we use a component e to the j not omega omega is replaced by 2 pi over n times k. Yeah. Here's omega. Omega run from negative pi to pi or 0 to 2 pi. And I separate the 0 to 2 pi as this part and pick this point. Right? Pick this point. Each point is 2 pi over n times some k. So I pick this point to summation as an approximate of the integral all right yeah okay so this value and also that that x this x x i just write as capital x of k and here times n and the k will run from 0 to n minus 1 this point is 2 pi over n times 0. Second point is 2 pi over n times 1. Right? Uh, you pick any one that will be 2 pi over n times k. And the last one will be 2 pi over n times n minus 1. Right? So we use these values. We use these values to replace the overall value for omega. Right. This is omega from one in one cycle, one interval, whole interval. We just pick some point from this interval, and then put the value here. This one go to here. This one go to here. Uh, writing this way is for simplify. You can you can if you want you can think this is a, a kind of a x of e to the j the omega is two pi over n times k. Think like this. Think like this. Right. Think like this. Right. Uh, but it's too long, right? So I just write capital X of K. Okay. So now the formula is this one. We try to represent the signal X of N in terms of E to the J 2 pi over N times K times N. Alright. With a weight capital X of K. 
Okay, now the components. E to the J 2 pi over N times K times N. They are basic components. They are basic components. Uh, here, 2 pi over n times k is the frequency. And uh, n is the time. Time variable, variable of time. We have a signal, actually it's a discrete time, right? And it's a discrete time, function of time. Then this side is a combine of some simple signal. This is also signal, n is a time. 2 pi over n is a frequency, right? This is also a, a signal. Combine them together, you have the x of n. So the, the idea is the same, right? idea with this is the same. Okay. Now the problem is what is a capital X? What is this capital X? Now is what is this capital X? Actually here we can solve it. You look at this one, you can solve it, right? X n suppose it is given. You want represent a given signal in terms of this exponential power j something, right? So this is given. This is given. Capital X unknown. You you use this. You can solve what is capital X. Uh, but of course you don't need to do that because we already have a formula. After you solve this, you can have capital X. Actually, that is a Fourier formula. Uh, where the weight capital X of K it is summation of X of n e to the negative j. 2 pi over n times k times n. Now the summation is for n. n run from 0 to n minus 1. We have this. This is a dft. Now we have formula like this. Okay, compare with uh, this one with the formula here. Compare for discrete time signal in general. This capital X is summation of these now summation we have summation look like this and now running from negative to positive infinity all right we only we only need n run from 0 to n minus 1 we only have x of n where n run from 0 to n minus 1 no more x and the components here this is e to the j omega n now it's also e to uh, e to the negative j omega n. Here is also e to the negative j omega n. But omega a little bit different. Here omega could be any number. Any number, right? Real number, any number. And here omega must be integral times of two pi over n. Okay. Now we have DTFT. It just looks like this. All right, now we can do an example. Do an example, we, we use my lab to work on it. Okay, here. Then 
do we have? This is a lecture zero, zero 02. Oh, I already have it. Have one. Okay. But I think I need a new one. Yeah. Five. There's a new one. New file, new M5. Okay. Uh, I, I want the signal X of N, right? X of N. Which one I want to use? Just to use X of N. Okay, N run from uh, zero, 0 to like uh, any. Okay, for simplify, I start from just six numbers. I use it, I use it, N. N as a whole number of the date, right? S six, for example. Then I need n equal to zero till n minus one. Okay, so this is the time. And what is signal? I want the signal low case x of n, which is, for example, is a point eight to the power n to the power n. Uh, but n is a vector, so I need a dot in front of the power. Okay, those. So I have an x of n. Okay, now we want to find the Fourier transform, the DFT is here, right? Example, x of n equal to point 0.8 to the n. Uh, n run from, okay, at times u of n, u of n. By this formula, the signal will looks like this, right? For negative n, because this is zero, right? We, I explained last time, right? u of n u of n for negative n this is zero so this is a x right this is n for negative n for negative n x values are zero and when n zero this is one when n is one is point a when n is two is the square of point a right so for the rest will be similar things look like this Okay, so this is x of n, x of n. Now we pick six, pick six, zero, one, two, three, four, five. I have six point, I have six point. And I want to know x of k, k run from zero to six, uh, to five. What is this, what is this? We want to know this. Now, relation. We know the relation between x and xk. It is x of n is uh, 1 over n. Some formula is here. This one, right? Formula is here. So it's 1 over n. I just copied the summation. k run from 0 to n minus 1. x of k e to the j 2 pi over n k n yeah, this is relation this is relation here these are given right given we have this formula so you can have all this value n n is what n is we choose 6 we choose 6 and this one it can be can be obtained right can be obtained you, you know what is n then for every k every n you can have the value then this one capital X is unknown we want to find what is capital X what is capital X okay so this one actually this is a, a equation right? this is an equation linear equation these are unknown, these are coefficient, and uh, this is given, this is given, right? This is just a linear equation, linear equation. So I can write it in this way. Summation x of k, this unknown, times e to the j, 2 pi over n, k n. Here summation run from, k run from 0 to n minus 1. Equal to, I put n here, capital N, x of n. I have this one. And uh, n run from zero to to n minus one. Right. 
we have this we have this then we can write it in a matrix way in a matrix way these are coefficients k run from 0 to n minus 1 n run from 0 to n minus 1 this is A and X K uh, X1 capital X uh, X0 to X N minus 1 I write this as capital X and this is a now we have A times capital X equal to N times lowercase x right look okay I put the bar means the vector okay I put the bar here x bar low case x bar it is x of 0 low case x x of 0 to x of n minus 1 okay. so it is just this one so we solve this there will be fine what it is x equal to a inverse times n x bar uh, capital x bar equal to this this is a so by MATLAB, we can solve this by MATLAB. Okay, this is one thing. And okay, let's see what it is. Uh, we need the coefficient, right? Like this. Sorry. Okay, just this one. Yeah, we want to solve this. You want this A. We want this A. A, I need a, all of A there. Element is a power, this one times A and K, right? So I need, a, I need, a, I write this as a W. W equal to capital W, all right? Uh, not W, just Q. Q equal to that exponential power of um, J times 2 pi over capital N over capital N this is a Q then the matrix or power of Q right so the matrix I need a I need a N and also need a K okay N already have K is also N as value they are same thing right run from 0 to N minus 1 so K is the same way as N and I need uh, a times n to be a vector, to be a square matrix. So I need uh, n, n as a column, uh, k as a column, k as a column at time prime, k prime, not this, k prime times n. So this give us a, a square matrix. Use this square matrix as a power of q. So q dot power uh, a power of n minus q. Yeah, we can have a look first. What is this? What is this one? What is this one? All right. Uh, choose. Yeah. Okay. Let me run it. F five. I press H five. F five. You are run. Oh, you need to save it. Yeah. F5. Let me save it. Uh, 317 MATLAB. Okay. Just this is for second week Wednesday's class. Right. Second day. This is Monday. This is Wednesday. Second day Wednesday's class. Okay. This one. Let me save it. Alright. Then MATLAB should run it. Is that to be here? Oh, is it here? You see, the answer, the answer. This is a q to the powers. Actually, this is a five by five matrix, right? Five by five matrix. Yeah, we can see that before that. We can see that before. Before this, what it is? K times n. K transpose times n. Yeah, what is K transpose? And what is k transpose times n? Yeah. All right. So now I have three all of these uh, 
six, maybe too large. I choose three. Okay, for simplify, just to, to see or to see what it is. All right, let me run it. F five, then. Okay, now it's this one. Is this one? Zero one two. And uh, uh, this is answer. Oh, answer, answer. This is a K actually. This is a K. And uh, this is a this is a K transpose times N, the square, the square matrix, right? And then they give a power is this one. So this one, the last matrix, three by three, a complex matrix. This is a that capital A, that capital A, right? This capital A. Okay. Now we can have the uh, the answer. The is it? okay. I don't need this anymore. Actually, this is a equal to this, a equal to this, and after we get a, we can have the result of capital X K or equal to inverse of a. Times, uh, I need an x. Okay, I have an x of n, right? X of n. So okay, n times x, x n. But this x n is a row vector. I need a column vector. So I put a prime. Prime is a transpose. Okay, so this is capital X. We can see. F five. All right here. This is capital X K, capital X K. We have three numbers here, three numbers here. Now can we combine the, them together to get? Uh, we want this one, right? We, 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 we want this one. We want to combine them together. We get this one, right? So can we get it? We can see. Uh, we combine them in this way, and we will see what it is. And this combine. This combine is also a, we can write it in a matrix way. This um, k is a column vector, and this form a square. Ma uh, this is matrix. This is just a a times x. Oh, it is just go back. This is a a times x, right? A times x, a times x, a times x. Divide by n, we will have x. Now we can see whether it is good. This is an X, and uh, we restore it back. So it A times capital X K. This one and divide by N. Times this one. Okay, this will be X, right? We can. We can type this. This is x n, x n. We display these two. We can see whether they are same. Okay. The uh, answer is this one. One plus zero i, uh, minus zero i, point a plus i and point sixty four. The same, right? Same. Uh, just uh, because during the calculate we go to complex field, so the answer is complex number. But uh, here should be zero. Zero image part is a zero. Uh, the image part are zero. Okay, so we go back. Right, x of n can write in terms of uh, in terms of this exponential powers. This sinusoid actually they are combined of cosine and sine. Right, this sinusoid. With the weight x k and x k is obtained in this way, we just solve, we just solve the equation. We calculate this one. We have the x k. All right. So this is a, uh, how to get this x k. All right. Then we say we have a formula. Right? We have formula. We have this formula. Uh, we just get this capital X. By solve this equation. Now, if we follow this formula, right? Suppose we can also get this capital X. These two capital X, they should be same. They should be same. Okay, let's see. All right here. 
x can be also obtained by d f t that is the ad formula uh, capital X is here right d f t is here I copy it negative j 2 pi over n k and n and run from 0 to n minus 1 right are the same now we can see in my lab now okay uh, before I use give the code I need to write in matrix form so this one means x equal to this matrix I say it's b times x b times x and b is what b is e to the negative j 2 pi over n and k and n here's a n run from 0 to n minus 1 and the k is also run from 0 to n minus 1 so this one all right so now you see the power is it's the power of this one is a negative power negative power e to the negative j so we, here we 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 will have a b we will have B similar with that A. Right, this is A, right? Now we have a B. I need a similar with this. Uh, delete this. This three line. Copy. I see here. But uh, not Q. I say this is a Q1. Q1. Q1 here is a negative. Negative power and uh, here is a q1 and here's a b okay i get a b and then that capital x another capital x i just use capital x okay or oh, capital x k k k okay k k is just the b times x n uh, with the transport Okay, that is one x k k. Now I want to compare x k and x k k. I put uh, this one here. I put the uh, no. I, I I put this one here. I don't I don't need to show it right. Then I can have x k display x k and x k k to see whether they are same. F five. Okay, you see, the first one is XK, second one is XKK. XK, XK is obtained by solve the equation, and XKK is obtained by the DFT formula, DF formula. So, they are same thing, right? You see the value, they are same thing. Alright, we have third one. Okay, third one, that is the most simple one. XKKK is FFT of XN. Alright, let me run FI. These are two RB here. Okay, this is by an inner function FFT. FFT. The result is 2.4.28 minus this, this one, right? It's the same, right? Just this is row vector, and uh, in our way, solve the equation or by DFT formula, I guess, columns. And by the building function, that is a row vector. Right? The same number, right? Same number. Okay, so this is third way. Uh, this is a. Okay. X can be also obtained by my lab function f f t that's it this is the most simple way Oh, my computer is turned.
percentage low okay all right so by FFT you can also have it okay uh, this is a uh, this example now n is three, right? N is three. If I have more, for example, if I have like a like a ten point, a six point, six point, that should be same thing. Uh, I can run it, but six point. Can we? Can I see it? Run it. Okay, six point. You see. Here six point. Here six point. Here six point. And we have three. The first one is uh, obtained by solve the equation. Second one is obtained by the formula DFT formula directly. And the last one use a building function FFT of MATLAB. You get same thing. You get same thing. Yeah. Uh, actually, you know why? Why I give you show you this? Uh, now you you study this course you use the uh, MATLAB so you know how to do the FFT some future I believe you will go to work you will write some code you need FFT but uh, you do not have you cannot use MATLAB you like you want to write something use Java or C++ to give a, you give a FFT give a forty transform now how to do it Okay, the first way and second second way works. You can use the DFT formula to get this, or use FFT. Uh, use the directly solve the equation to get it. Both works. Uh, even you can write FFT for your own. All right. Okay. So this is. Um, uh, I think that's all for today. What I want to show you today, the. Yeah, so the thing is, uh, we have the FF, uh, we have the Fourier transform for discrete time case, and when you do the calculate, if you want to use computer, now how to do it, right? Yeah. Oh, the camera is uh, somehow slow, response slower. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's all for today. Uh, see you next time.